December 11th. Today we celebrate the memory of our Holy Father Daniel the Starlight. Born in the village of Marutha near the city of Samosata in Mesopotamia of Christian parents called Elias and Martha, he was a gift of God through the tearful prayers of his mother, who was barren and was dedicated to God in his very young age. He embraced the monastic state at the age of twelve, and he visited St. Simeon the Starlight, receiving his blessing. Desirous of solitude, Daniel left his monastery and withdrew to an abandoned pagan temple on the shore of the Black Sea. He endured many assaults from demons, but overcame them all by prayer, endurance, and the sign of the cross. After that, he climbed onto a pillar, where he remained until his death, enduring both heat and cold, and attacks from both men and the demons. Many disciples gathered around his pillar, and he led them towards eternal life by his example and his words. God rewarded his devoted servant with great grace in his life, and he worked many miracles of help to men and foretold future events. People came to his pillar from all parts of the world, seeking help and advice from the saint of God. Kings and patriarchs came to him, as well as a simple folk. The Emperor Leo the Great used to bring his foreign guests, princes and nobles, to show them Daniel on his pillar. Here is the wonder of my empire, he would say. Daniel foretold the day of his own death, taught his disciples as a father would his children, and took leave of them. At the time of his death, his disciples saw angels and prophets, apostles and martyrs all around his pillar. Having lived in asceticism for eighty years, this angelic man entered into rest and into the kingdom of Christ in 489. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fill us with all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. became a pillar of patience, and did Daniel laid the forefathers, O righteous one. Job in his sufferings, Joseph in temptations, and the life of the body is well in the body. O Daniel, our righteous father, Intercede with Christ God, that our souls be saved. Let us chant unto the Lord who led his people through the Red Sea, for he alone has gloriously been glorified. 
O Holy Father Daniel, pray to God for us. Do thou send down light from heaven upon me, who am minded to acclaim thy luminous memorial with hymns. O blessed Daniel. O Holy Father Daniel, pray to God for us. As a truly great son, didst thou rise upon the farthest parts of the world, O Father, brightening the assemblies of the faithful, with the illumination of a virtue. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Obeying the laws of the Master, O Father, thou didst mortify the flesh through continence, and didst make it subject to the Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When the Lord was born of thee without change, O Theotokos, he was seen to be man in his entirety, yet remaining even after the Incarnation, what he was before. Of the vault of the heavens art thou, O Lord, fashioner, so too of the church art thou founder. Do thou establish me an unfeigned love for thee, who art the height of things sought for, and staff of the faithful, O thou only friend of man. O Holy Father Daniel, pray to God for us. Thou clavest the sea of the passion with the road of abstinence, O Father, and passing through it without being overwhelmed, Thou camest on to the mount of true dispassion, and spakes with God in the purity of thy mind. O Holy Father Daniel, pray to God for Ascending us. to the height of virtue, thou wast made known to the world, abiding aloft a pillar, and illuminating with the splendor of wondrous miracles, those who came to thee with faith. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Established upon the rock of the knowledge of God, thou wast unbending before all the demons' devices, and raising thy body up on a pillar upon earth, thou didst soar in soul unto the heaven. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Deliver me from the incursion of passions, O Lady, and war now against the enemies that were against me. Make me steadfast upon the rock of God's will, in a light in my soul, O gate of the divine light. By divinely adorning thy blessed soul, with thy continence, labors, and ceaseless prayers, thou hereby becamest one with the angels in way of life. Thou wast verily granted the grace to work miracles, and to heal all disease in those honoring thee with faith. Wherefore, while expelling countless legions of demons, Thou grantest the sons of men cures and healings of every ill, wondrous Daniel, most blessed of God. Intercede with Christ our God, that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them that with longing keep thy holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All ye faithful, come, let us extol the Queen and the Mother of Him who created all. With hymns let us sing her praise, magnify her, and cry to her. O thou all-lauded Virgin, thou cause of our common joy, by thy prayers do thou shelter and save them that honor thee. For thou, as God's mother, hast immeasurable freedom to rescue from all distress and fulfill the petitions of them that cry to thee with faith. O Lady, pray thy Son and our God that forgiveness of transgressions be vouchsafed to them that piously worship Thine all spotless bringing forth. Thou art my strength, thou art my power and might, O Lord. Thou art my God, thou who wast not absent from thy Father's arms. Thou, Lord, art my joy. Thou hast deigned to visit our lowliness and our poverty. To thee, therefore, I cry out with Habakkuk the prophet. Glory be to thy power, O friend of man. O Holy Father Daniel, pray to God for us. Thou sawest God's servant Simeon shining on his pillar like a brightly beaming sun, O celebrated Father. 
and the wise divinely illumined with the divine rays, pouring forth thanks, and thou didst walk, O Daniel, in the steps of his manner of life. O Holy Father Daniel, pray to God for us. Thou didst turn to flight the demon troops with the weapon of faith, O Father, and didst wash them away in the flood of thy prayers, checking their destruction, which they would have brought upon those who were sailing at sea. And thou didst save them that cried unto Christ with faith, Glory to thy power, of friend of man. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Raising thyself up on a pillar, O all-blessed Father, thou stoodst all the night long as thou bodiless, having the eye of thy soul undistracted, as a pure mirror that received a spirit's splendor and divine manifestations in a pure mind. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In thee the laws of nature are made new, O all pure virgin, for thou, for the sake of our crimes, and beyond reason truly gave birth to the word, the giver of the law, who rescued the race of man from unreason, as they cried out with faith, Glory to thy power, O friend of man. Wherefore, as thou deprived me, and cast me the hapless one far from thy countenance, and the outer darkness has enshrouded and cast its gloom over me, yet now I beseech thee, do thou convert me and direct me to the light of thy precepts, O Lord my God. O Holy Father Daniel, pray to God for us, that thou mightst attain into immortal glory. Thou didst mortify the desires of the flesh, and didst bridle the vehemence of passions with the tolls of abstinence. And thou becamest a river of marvels and a fountain of healings, O celebrated Father Daniel. O Holy Father Daniel, pray to God for us. While thou wast in ecstasy, O blessed Father, the wondrous Simeon appeared unto thee together with two angels, showing thee the path that he had travelled upon earth, and crying out, Come, stand beside me, and be raised up to God by grace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Made to shine with the brightness of the divine illumination that had no even tide, O Father, thou draves out the gloom of the demons and the gross murk of the passions, and didst appear as a truly light like pillar and a ladder leading the faithful unto God. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When thou gavest birth to the Master, thou became superior to the powers on high, and thou wrought deification for the race of mortals, O only all hymned, wherefore with soul and tongue we the faithful glorify thee as the very mother of God in truth, O Virgin. O Lord, be gracious to me, for many are mine iniquities, and from the pit of my wicked deeds raise me up, I pray. For unto thee have I cried, O God of my salvation and my Saviour, hearken unto me. O Holy Father Daniel, pray to God for us. O Father, thy mind, made bright by nearness to God, remained unscathed by the fire of pleasures, superior to passions and far above attachment to the body. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Filled with the life-creating floods of the Spirit's graces, thy soul overflowed with rivers of healings, that verily dried up the streams of sufferings, O all-blessed and godly-minded Daniel. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All we, the faithful, have thee as our wall and protection, ever imperiled as we are in the deep of misfortunes and a storm of tribulations, O only Theotokos, thou refuge of mortals. O blessed Daniel, when thou hadst mounted thy pillar to the heights, thou didst enlighten the world with thy holy deeds, like an exceedingly brilliant star, and didst drive off the darkness of delusion. And now, O Father, we pray of thee, 
the light of inner knowledge do thou shine within thy servants' hearts. This song of mine is too defiled for the praise of thy struggles, O Father, for I possess not my heart in purity, and have sordidly defiled it. But give me speech, O saint, wherewith I may blamelessly praise thy way of life, at which even angels truly marveled. For thou becamest like an incorporeal being, having received the inner light of knowledge. Having received the inner light of knowledge. The three Hebrew children in the furnace trampled on the flames with courage and great boldness. They turned fire to dew and cried out with a great voice, Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, unto the ages of ages. O Holy Father Daniel, pray to God for us. The orders of angels were amazed at thy standing, O blessed and God-bearing Daniel. For thou tookst up the way of life full in a body, and didst cry out, O God, blessed art thou. Holy Father Daniel, pray to God for us. Standing at the height of an immaterial polity, and shining with the brightness of prophecy, Thou hast sent flashing rays of healings unto us that piously honour thee, O wonder-worker Daniel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Disperse the mist of my passions with the splendour of thine intercession, O all-blessed Father, and guide me on to the paths of life as I cry, Blessed art thou, O Lord God, unto the ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Be gracious to me, O Virgin, and with the poultice of thine intercession heal me that I am wounded with the sword of sin. For I shout, Blessed is the fruit of thy womb. The Chaldee tyrant, mad with rage, fired his furnace of blazing flame seven times more hot against the worshippers of God. But seeing them kept in safety by a power greater than his, he then cried aloud, Ye children, bless the Creator, the Saviour and Redeemer. O ye priests, sing his praises, exalt him, O ye people, to all the endless ages. O Holy Father Daniel, pray to God for us. Lifted up on the wings of virtuous works, O God-bearing Father Daniel, thou hast diligently laid hold upon the uttermost of things desired, and the highest of all good, and with the bodiless hosts, thou dost shout, you children, bless Christ, O you priests, sing his praises, exalt him, O you people, to all the endless ages. O Holy Father Daniel, pray to God for us. The power of God manifestly gave thee strength to bear the discomfort of the cold, the burning heat of the sun, the festering of thy flesh and the distress of the worms they came therefrom. And as thou didst cry, Bless Christ, O you priests, supremely exalt him on your people to all the endless ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Thou becamest the new Job, O admirable Daniel, beleaguered with the multitude of temptations and afflictions, and thou didst imitate also the meekness of David, the simplicity of Jacob, and the chastity of Joseph, while crying out, Bless the Master, O you priests, supremely exalt him, all you people, to all the endless ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Following thy saying, O all holy and all him, Lady, we who believe thee to be the Theotokos, now call thee blessed, for thou didst bear the blessed God for us, whom we praise into essences but one hypostasis, crying out, Supremely exalt Christ, O you people, to all the endless ages. Terror filled every ear that learnt the unheard of condescension of God the Word, how of his own good will the Lord Most High came down to such lowliness as from a virgin's womb to take a body, becoming man, Hence we, the faithful flock, magnify the undefiled Mother of God. 
O Holy Father Daniel, pray to God for us. Behold, the gates of the heavens are open to thee, O Father, who has been translated, having finished thy course. The orders of angels have received thee, and Christ, the giver of crowns, has crowned thee with the glory of righteousness. Him do we the faithful praise and magnify. Holy Father Daniel, pray to God for us. As a lily of the field, thou hast flowed in the meadow of contest. As a cypress, thou hast reached the height of perfection. And like an olive tree, O Father, as it says in the Psalms, thou hast made our hearts and faces Glad with the oil of thy travails. O Holy Father Daniel, pray to God for us. Creation knew thee to be a pillar set fast on a foundation of virtues, an unshakable tower, a brimming fountain of wonders, a calm haven, a treasury of healings, a vessel of the Spirit. Therefore it keeps thy memorial today, O Daniel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thy divine memory is risen upon us today, brighter than the sun, O righteous one, enlightening the hearts of the faithful with the light of righteousness, and driving off the gloom of soul-corrupting passions. As we keep thy memorial, we reverently praise thee with him. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Saviour, who was born and didst preserve in violet after childbearing, her that gave thee birth, when thou seest to judge my deeds, spare me and overlook mine iniquities and my sins, for thou art without sin. Thou art a merciful God and a friend of man. Tormented with both cold and heat, raised on high in the body, like Adam in didst thou Daniel, in no wise bending to the force of thy nature's needs and wants, and for this reason, O Father, God has counted the worthy to enjoy as his own Son, divine and undying glory. Wisdom, O Holy Mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, the who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ, God, our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy and life-giving cross of the Lord and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven. By the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes, the great Brandon, the navigator, Oron of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Moluog, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. At the prayers of the holy venerable Daniel the Starlight, with the prayers of the synaxes of all the martyrs of Georgia, with the prayers of St. Kian, St. Amaris and St. Paris, whose memory we keep this day, at the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good 
and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.